Cars hit and people mowed down on city streets, and now we know who police are looking for. We're also hearing from the young victim who was the first target in this hit and run spree. Hi everyone, good evening. I'm Steve Daniels. Tisha has the night off. Police telling us tonight it was a 16 year old girl who got a fist in the face and was kicked and tossed to the ground before a carjacker in Durham took off in her Honda. Heather Walliga live now on the scene where it all unfolded about this time last night. Heather, you talked to a victim, but more importantly, you now have the 911 call that teenager made just after getting attacked. Yeah, Steve, in that seven minute call, the teenager is in shock and out of breath. She describes the man as a light skinned black or Hispanic male with a tan coat. She says he walked up and attacked her right here in this residential parking lot at West Village Apartments before taking her keys and leaving residents here stunned. All you do is scream. That's all you can do. That's all frozen in fear as a carjacking suspect races toward him. Roderick Martin says he didn't even have time to react. Um, he struck the side of the car. One of these numbers and you see there's damage. There's a dent. The suspect hit several more cars in the West Village parking lot on West Morgan Street before speeding off. A teenage girl, the first target describing the terror in this 911 call. She was crying and she was shaking. Eyewitnesses rushed to help, many of them watching the chaos unfold from inside their apartments. So I thought maybe they were, you know, friends who were having an argument and he was just in a, just in, a, in, a, in an ill temper. But by the time he struck the vehicle on the way out uh, on that far entrance, it seemed obvious to me that he was really fleeing a crime scene. But it didn't stop there. Um, and then I, as they're writing up my police report, they're telling me that um, he's getting on some interstate. Police say the suspect hit at least 13 other cars around Durham, including two bicyclists and a pedestrian. One of our ABC 11 vehicles also caught in his path. Tonight, the suspect is still on the run. Police are now looking for any leads that can help track him down. It really makes you second guess. Like I went to the grocery store earlier and I was doing one of these numbers just because you're now on edge. And I spoke with a manager here at the apartments who tells me they are working with police in their investigation and alerting residents to last night's incident. Again, police need your help tracking down that suspect. He is a light skinned black or Hispanic male in his 30s or 40s, about six feet tall with a muscular build. They're also looking for that red Honda Civic. It has Georgia tags. If you know anything, you're asked to give police a call. Live in Durham, Heather Walliga, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Heather, thanks.